Today we're going to talk about time management skills, okay? And you know, like we can we can know all of the management skills and tips and tricks, but implementation is where it's hard. And there's a lot of false information out there. For example, we all have the same 24 hours to work with. Absolutely laughable. Okay, whoever said that, whoever came up with that, and whoever agreed with them, obviously were probably a not a parent or trying to have a family or anything like that, right? I mean, you know, some of us work various hours, so we can't really count those. Some of us are parents, so, you know, that's a 24 foot 7 job and we have to navigate around our other family needs you know maybe we're caretakers to our parents or our grandparents maybe we have other obligations that we have to attend to before we can work on ourself and our passions and all of that so you know it's there's a lot of factors that go into it and no no we do not all have the same 24 hours in a day. Uh, we do, but we don't because, you know, each one of us requires a different amount of sleep to function. Each one of us has different obstacles they have to navigate. For example, I have food allergies, so I can't just go grab me something to eat, but I also have low sugar problems, so I have to eat. You know, that takes a certain amount of time to navigate as well as mental power because just because we have the, even if we do have quote unquote free time to read a book or work on our business or navigate another problem or whatever whatever doesn't mean that we have the mental capacity to do so right because if we have a hundred responsibilities and you know I just throw a number out there hundred responsibilities all of which take mental capacity and energy to do and then we finally get an hour or three to work on whatever we want to I, you know, we don't always have the time, energy, capacity to be able to do that. You know, a lot of us have to spend our free time recovering from our responsibilities. So, do know that that's a thing. So, don't be hard on yourself if you're having a hard time doing everything. The world was designed, you know, the, the 40 hours a week... It was designed for a world that doesn't exist anymore and we're still stuck in these old concepts in a new world whereas used to yeah you could have a family and work 40 hours a week and have a side gig and have a still have a clean house and healthy food on the table and the children are taken care of you know like yeah used to more or less one or two people could do it all Nowadays, one or two people can't do it all because we are stuck with inflation and how people have to work. Like You have to have two people that work full-time jobs most of the time these days to make ends meet. And then on top of that, so you're having to juggle self-care and uh, the family, the kids, the cleaning the house, going and getting the groceries, figuring out how to cook them. You know, there's thousands of things, okay, that factor into it. So first and foremost, do know that you have been dropped into a system that steals away most of your time, okay? So it is not your fault that you are having time management problems, okay? It's something we just have to kind of navigate and work with right now because it's where we're stuck. Um, the culture scape doesn't help. For example, I had a friend of mine and her son fell on some hard times last year and they moved in with us for a few months. It was the best few months of my life because we had another hand another person helping out with everything and it took so much stress off of me and I was finally able to actually do things and focus on things that needed focusing on that had been neglected especially as uh, parents and caregivers we focus on everyone else's needs first and push our own to the side so that's what we're working with so do know that we 
for the most part, start out at a disadvantage because of how everything is set up to steal away our time and not leave us any left to actually work on the things that need working on, right? So we need to set, set realistic goals for ourselves, okay? If you pile too much on your to-do list that, because you know you have your, your responsibilities and all of that, and then some of the stuff over here that you want to do, that you need to do, like building your business, writing your blog, some of that still can fall over here in the realm of responsibilities and have-tos, but make sure that you're not adding extra unnecessary obligations to your to-do list that are going to make you stressed out and overwhelmed, okay? And I'm world's worst about this. I am a, yeah, I can do that. Yeah, I can. I'm just overly optimistic, honestly, <laughs> in, in my capabilities and my skills. So I'm like, yeah, I can take that on. Yeah, sure, I can start the new project. Yeah, I can go do that this Sunday. And you know what? No is okay to say to respect your boundaries and what you are apps actually capable of because in the midst of all this stuff it is absolutely important to schedule in re-energizing time okay Recu recuperation from the things that you're constantly doing and having to do and can't get out of so first and foremost write down your priorities okay we're gonna make some lists Write down your priorities and what absolutely has to be done, and then everything that you're giving your time to. Some of us are wasting away on social media and on TV and all of those things, and people always want to attack TV and social media as the reason that people don't have time for things, and that's not really fair. I mean, if you're, it is good to be aware of how much time you're giving to these things, okay? So there are apps that you can download. I have one, hold on. Maybe I can, if this is Android too, by the way, so I don't know if it's on Apple Store, but it's called Quality Time. There it is, okay, okay. And what that's gonna do is it's going to track how much time you spend on everything, but it tells you in your little navigation bar, you can swipe down and it'll tell you right there, how much time you have spent on your phone today and you can green light some apps and red light others so that it's tracking your facebook um time and not your email time and stuff like that so that you're just aware of how much time that you're spending on your phone and that awareness you know like we were talking about a couple of weeks ago a couple of weeks ago or the past couple consecutive weeks actually we've touched on the neural connections in your brain and how becoming aware of where you are and now is creates a connection in your brain so that you're always aware so that you're not just mindlessly scrolling so that when you pick up your phone and you Oh, you can also set time limits. I have one that says 30 minutes for Facebook. So if I've been on Facebook for 30 minutes, a little notification, it, it's collective. Okay, so not 30 minutes in one sitting, but 30 minutes throughout the day. Collectively, once I hit that 30 minutes, it pops up a little pop-up tab and tells me. So I can be like, okay. And But now, once you start n making these connections of noticing, every time you pick up your phone and start scrolling on Facebook, a little bell is going to go off your head and you're like, hey, I'm wasting time. I'm like, oh, look at that. I am wasting time. Let me go somewhere else and do something else productive. And knowing exactly what you need to do to feel productive is going to help you also. And, you know, we were talking last week about flipping your mindset from scarcity to abundance. A lot of the time scarcity is, it's an illusion. It's absolutely an illusion in every case, but it flipping your mind from scarcity to abundance also sometimes has a lot to do with what you're accomplishing. So if you're getting a lot done, you're going to feel like you have more time. Well, what tasks give you that sense of abundance, that sense of, oh, I've done great today, you know, know exactly what they are. You can prioritize 
your tasks into uh, thinking about it like money okay so what is an hour of your time worth you know if say an hour of your time is worth twenty dollars and you just spent thirty minutes on Facebook well you just gave Facebook ten dollars think about it like that is that does that sound like a good deal or not how much money are you giving Facebook in your time a day you know how much a week what could you be doing instead to replace those and you can also take that money thing and turn things once you have your list of to do's and priorities and goals make sure that you have your list of goals and you know exactly what you're working on and exactly what you're trying to do build have and be so that you can plan your priorities and give energy and time to the priorities that are actually going to help you accomplish that goal you know if we're filling 10 buckets if we have 10 buckets in front of us and one pitcher of water and we're pouring a little bit of water into each one then it's going to take us forever to fill up these buckets because then we got to go get more water in our pitcher and then we got to come back and fill a little bit more whereas if you know exactly what it is you're trying to accomplish you can focus on which buckets to fill okay so instead of filling a little bit here and there you're filling this one all the way up and then you're filling this one all the way up so section all of your tasks off into five dollar tasks ten dollar tasks twenty dollar tasks and you can play with that make it your own please do whatever works and feels best for you in your head the five dollar tasks but essentially the five dollar tasks are the things that don't require a lot of energy don't require a lot of time aren't super important um, maybe they need to get done but it's not a huge deal if they don't the ten dollar tasks are a little bit more important uh, and then the twenty dollar tasks are like gotta 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 happen okay so if you're focusing on your twenty dollar tasks first you're filling most of the bucket up here first and then you're using what's left to fill a few five dollar buckets then you're gonna feel a little bit more accomplished um, a lot of people will, will make schedules, time block, those are all great things if they work for you. If they don't, don't feel like you have to constrict yourself to this. Don't feel like a failure if it's not working for you. It just means that that method isn't your method. I've done a lot of methods and it. I'm weird. I don't know. Maybe it's because I change and grow or I don't know. I don't know why. But something. Will, um, one method will work for me wonderfully for months and then all of a sudden it's not working anymore you know sometimes a schedule isn't applicable maybe sometimes it's not realistic to try to have a schedule it's not for me I'm doing my best but sometimes your work interferes and kids and life and family and all of these things they interfere and it's not practical to have a strict schedule that you abide to in that case, try making a list of things that need to be done and things that you're not allowed to do until these things are done. And for example, that could be, I'm not allowed to get on TikTok until I do three of these things on my to-do list. I'm not allowed to watch another episode until I do two of the things on my to-do list. Uh, once I do two things, I watch one episode <laughs> and then pause it because it'll always be there when I get back and do two more things on my to-do list. Um, I said it, I put rules in my life. For example, I play Xbox almost every day, but never before eight o'clock PM. Okay. And that's one of my rules. If it's daylight outside, I'm not allowed to do, I'm not allowed to play Xbox, or watch TV that way it gives me more time to prioritize the things that I need to do if I have a little bit of free time and I'm not really sure what to do with that free time I do not turn on the TV and I do not turn on my Xbox I meditate clean rest self-care plan food planning plan 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 we waste a lot of time on trying to figure out what to do next.
Okay, trying to figure out what to eat, trying to figure out where to go, trying to figure out what needs to be done. Okay, if you have everything written out and you know exactly what your goal is, exactly what you need to do to get there, of those things that you need to get there, which ones are most priority, like meaning which ones are the $20 task, which ones are the $5 tasks, then you can write a to-do list for the next day. Okay, and I really advocate that. Spend five to ten minutes if you can at night, right before you go to bed, thinking about what needs to be done the next day and what tasks will help you get there so that when you wake up in the morning, you know exactly what you need to do and you can go ahead and get started and you're not lollygagging and messing around and avoiding and procrastinating because you're not really sure what to do and you can just get started and then you can be done and then by noon ish maybe so I don't know depends on your schedule then you feel accomplished you feel like you've done something that day and then you can allow yourself to do some of the more leisurely things some of the more fun things that kind of stuff um, I don't believe in procrastinating however I'm really bad about procrastinating certain things by filling my schedule with five and ten dollar tasks really bad about that I know I need to sit down and write this blog post which would be like a twenty dollar task for me because it takes a lot of mind power because I have children so I know I need a chunk of time to do that and instead of finding the time and making the time to do that, I will fill my time with other things that need to be done, like cleaning, organizing, washing baseboards, showering, you know, like, yeah, those things need to be done, but are you doing them to procrastinate the things that really need to be done? Because those $20 tasks is where we need to be, okay? Those $20 tasks is what we need to be focusing on. Um, and self-care. Okay, I can't stress that enough. Please, please, please take care of yourself. Feed yourself properly. Move when your body needs to move. Uh, shower, rest, meditate, re-energize, get the sleep you need because if you don't, you're going to deteriorate. And then nothing's getting accomplished because you have to sit around and nurse yourself back to health. We get, we'll get sick. It lowers our immune system. Uh, things happen. So if you don't, like, the time to take care of yourself is going to be taken. Okay. If you don't choose to take the time to take care of yourself periodically throughout the day every day then you're going to get sick and your body's going to make you take that time in one big chunk okay so the choice is yours spend a little bit of time here and there making good choices to take care of yourself or spend three to fourteen days give or take you know depending on what happened to nurse yourself back to health once you actually get sick. So, choice is yours. Utilize reminders on your phone. Know what you need to do every day. Know it needs to be done once a week. Just plan. Plan, sketch out, diagram, chart, whatever works for you. Spend The more time you spend looking at what needs to be done and knowing exactly what needs to be done, the easier you can implement it, okay? Sitting out and sketching it out, and that should be a pretty regular process every day or two, two at the most, honestly. You need to do it every day so that you know exactly what you're doing and what needs to be done. But also be flexible with yourself and gentle with yourself because life happens and the only thing consistent in life is change and fluctuation. So do know that it's okay if things don't work out the way you planned, the way you want them to. I like to do a to-done list instead of a to-do list. I mean, yeah, you have your list of things that need to be done, but I also write down things that... I, done, I did that weren't on the list, like, you know, I cleaned the kitchen, I did the dishes, I folded some laundry, I meditated, I hung out with my grandmother, I 
taught my kids something. I read them a book. You know, these are types of things because then it's it's all about your focus and your focus is your mindset and that's where all it ties together. And if you're focusing on man I didn't do this I didn't do that and I didn't do this and I didn't do that then you're going to stress yourself out and it's very low vibrational and you're going to start resenting something or someone and getting angry and mad with yourself and blaming this or that but if you focus on the things that you did get done like yeah I mean I didn't get those things done but there's tomorrow what I did do was this 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 and this you know, those are all still important things. Spending time with your family is important. Spending time with taking care of yourself is important. Uh, spending time cleaning your environment is important because our inside reflects our outside, our outside reflects our inside, and vice versa. So all of those things are important as long as you're not using them to procrastinate. Going back to our previous point, find what works for you. Journaling, color coding, schedule, try them all on and see what works for you. Make your own method, play with it, and find what works for you. Learn to say no. Make sure your priorities are reflecting your own personal goals and you're not taking on extra work and things to help. Well, I don't want to say help others because absolutely help others when you can, where you can, but don't let others take advantage of your time either or push you into things that you didn't want to do. Marie Kondo everything. Minimize, minimize, simplify, simplify. And that's really going to help with your anxiety and stress levels. Choosing, you know, we could talk about anxiety and stress, but that's not time uh, management. We have to focus. <laughs> okay. So that's what I have. I have an ebook called Tom Alchemist that goes into a lot more detail. And it's not super long. I don't remember how long it is. It's less than 100 pages, so it's not that bad. Tom Alchemist, you can find it in the, on earthandwater.co, the website, in the shop. And yeah. So let me know if you have any questions. Let me know what you struggle with most about time management and getting your things done. And we'll see how we can navigate it and work through it. Uh, hit me up for your free calls. If you haven't already, it's pitch free. You know, just let me help you spend 30 minutes on the phone with me and we'll discuss your problems and see how we can work through them, see if we can find something that may work for you. And if you're watching this on YouTube, Head on over to the Facebook group so that you can join these live and interact with us. And if you're watching this in the Facebook group, glad to have you here. Like, share, comment, interact, all of that good jazz. And the blog post will be out Thursday next month. So all exciting stuff. And until next week, I will see you in the group.